show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by Rex. You'll come for the ribs and stay for the torture. And now, please welcome the original guru of trivia, Nate Shapiro. All right, welcome to the show. So, you're a bit of a sadist, huh? Wonder if you can take a little of what you give out. Okay, it's time to draw and quarter. Talk to me, give me a value. Okay, the category is... Torture the quarterback. Okay, we're coming at you, heads up. If football players played on the gridiron used as an ancient torture device, what special equipment would they need to wear? Waterproof shoes, fireproof pants, crushproof shoulder pads, or puncture-proof helmets? A puncture-proof helmet. Hey, you know, maybe you can go find one that'll fit around your score. God, it just seems so obvious now, doesn't it? Yeah, a gridiron is essentially an iron bed on which a victim is shackled and underneath it they light a fire. Hey, let's try it on the Dallas Cowboys, shall we? Hey, buzz in. There's the cash, and here's the category. We're best friends. We torture each other. You know, if you want, you could get this right and get above zero. You know, I'm just saying. Say your friend invites you over for a game of pillow wings. What would you honestly be able to say about the experience? I played until my fingers bled. It really made my stomach turn. I needed it like I needed a hole in the head, or it was a real pain in the ass. Pillowinks? Of course, it squeezes fingers and thumbs as a form of torture. So now you know the evolution of torture. First pillowinks, then tiddlywinks, and now there's Nintendo Thumb. Slap the buzzer and give me a value. Now that probably doesn't seem that high, but guess what? And it's time to boogie down with some particularly funky trivia. It's time for the dis or dap. The category for this dis or dat question is... Instruments of Torture. Okay, I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one I want you to tell me if it's... a famous musical group, a medieval instrument of torture, or a bow. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong, or that you don't get to. All right, you're gonna have 30 seconds to nail all seven. You ready? Oh, well, you better be. It's showtime. Iron Maiden. Man, turn. Rolling Stone. The Rat. Dilly Man. Can't Heat. Chopper's Wheel. Jubato. Oh, just missed one. But this is still gonna feel good. Well, you're in first place, that's for sure. Time that bu That's what it's worth, then here's what it's called. What are you gonna do about it? I'm the president. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. If the president who coined the term bully pulpit had used it to be a real bully, which ugly incident might have typified your grade school years? Abraham Lincoln beating you up at school, Teddy Roosevelt stealing your lunch money, Harry Truman making you cry at recess, or Richard Nixon ripping up your homework? That's right, you'll be getting a big can of whoop-ass from Teddy and his Rough Riders. Yeah, you just better hope he doesn't use that big stick of his. Buzz in for the bucks, baby. There you go, okay, the category is... Blued, thumbscrewed, and tattooed. Get your eyes focused on the screen, here we go. Let's pretend Sissy Hanks shot from the movie Even Cowgirls Get the Blues gets captured and tortured. If her kidnappers use thumbscrews on her, how will they need to be modified? They'll have to be tiny, they'll have to be three of them, they'll only need one, or they'll have to be bigger. Sissy Hankshaw has these enormous thumbs she uses to hitchhike all over the place. But I'll tell you, if they did put on the thumb screws, they wouldn't have to tighten them too much to get her to talk. I mean, she is a real sissy. But she's good at pillowings. And Nintendo. Okay, kid. There you go. That's something right there. Okay, here's your category. Punishment for habitual offenders. Hey, have you read Lord of the Rings? I hope so. 
Suppose the evil creature Gollum has captured one of the hobbits and has him shackled by his feet to an iron bar. What has he done? Strap Thorin to the Thorin, chain Bilbo to the Bilbo, stuck Pogo in the Pogo, or tied Willow to the Willow. Hey, nice work. I guess you must have used a Bilbo before. Bilbo Baggins is a cute little hobbit, and the Bilbo is a cute little iron bar that they use to shackle people's feet to for punishment. Talk to me, give me a value. Bingo. There was a tune stuck in my head, and music was its name. Oh, M U C A K, M U C A K, M U C A K, and now I am insane. Oh. Alright, welcome to Muzak. Okay, now don't forget, when the first letter of the answer lights up, that's when you buzz in to win the cash. You snag all five letters, you get the bonus. Okay, let's make it happen. Here we go. They love the red, red wine. Give me 40 happy points. Give them some love and hugs, kisses too. Shot that with lots of Chinese. She's got Betty Davis eyes. Forever your Paula. After all. Don't worry, this Bobby's happy. I'm happy too. Fast as lightning, expert timing. And the category is... None of that at the dinner table. Okay, think back to all your Greek mythology classes and tell me... If you truly want to tantalize someone with a scrumptious banquet, what would you do to him? Keep the food just beyond his reach, make him roll a boulder up a hill first, cut off his head after his first bite, or just pretend there's food on the table. The naughty man named Tantalus was punished by the gods by having food and water placed just out of his reach for eternity. Man, sounds like the gods were running out of punishment ideas. I mean, what's next? Making someone's footwear just slightly too small so their feet are mildly fatigued by the end of the day? Buzz it in, baby. What do you want? Oh, come on. What is that? I, I got that much from my allowance when I was 11. All right, here's what we're doing. Andy Taylor gets something yanked. Right. Okay, so suppose the Andy Griffith show took place in the Middle Ages. Just, just go with me on this. Suppose Andy needs a tooth pulled. Given that it's the 1400s, to whom would he go? Goober the mechanic, Emmett the hardware store owner, Floyd the barber, or Otis the drunk? In the Middle Ages, dental appointments were usually made with barbers who were also surgeons who could extract teeth. Oh, Andy, that's a nice tooth, a real nice tooth. Maybe I'll just put a leech on it instead. Okay, what's the value of the next? Gotcha, okay, coming up. Please wipe off the equipment after litigating. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. If your Stairmaster has its Master of Laws degree, what might be written on its business card? Stairmaster JD, Stairmaster LM, Stairmaster LLM, or Stairmaster DDS. Stairmaster JD? No, that would be a stair doctor of law. <laughs> now the correct answer is... A Master of Laws degree is an LLM. Lawyers and Stairmasters, I'll tell you, you give them everything you got, and you still don't get anywhere. Okay, how much money am I giving? Okay.
Okay. Um, and the category for this one will be... How to sink 200 million into an Oscar. Okay, we all know the story, right? The Titanic hits an iceberg, it sinks, lots of people suffer and die. Then the box office has a huge hit on its hands. Let's say the Greek god of the sea Poseidon received a special Oscar for creating the iceberg Titanic ran into. If he thanked his mother in his speech, what would you hear? I gotta mention my sweet mother Hera. I especially want to thank my mom Diana. I won this thanks to my mama Gia. Or I'd be nowhere without my mom Rhea. Uh, Hera is actually his sister, which of course in Greek mythology doesn't preclude her from also being his mother, but you're still wrong. <laughs> and let's see the correct answer. Poseidon is the son of Rhea and her husband, uh, Pepto-Bismol. Buzz in for the bucks, baby. Okay, that's what's on the line, and here's the category. Sorry, I have a real dislike for aversion therapy. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Say you're addicted to watching TV. If doctors want to cure you by having you watch the following TV series, what show will provide the longest continual averse stimulus? She's the sheriff, suddenly Susan, Family Matters, or Small Wonder? There are over 200 Family Matters episodes, each special in its very own way. And if watching all those doesn't cure you, they could just have Urkel come over to your house and say, Hello! Every time you turn on the TV. Talk to me. Give me a value. It is time to jack attack. Here's your clue. What you shooting there, Tex? Yeah, that's a pretty big piece you got there. That make you feel powerful? That make you feel like a man? Is that what you need to feel like a man? You... Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, uh... for seven! Of course, that only means you kicked your own ass.